Breaking news story in the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk, a group of activists have declared their region independent from Kiev. It happened after protesters stormed a local government building last night. Mass demonstrations against the country's new leadership started peacefully on Sunday, but that situation quickly escalated. Uh, let's cross live now to our correspondent, Maria Vinoshina. So, Maria, um, what more has been announced? Well, indeed, it, it seems that tensions are escalating in eastern Ukraine. We hear that in the city of Donetsk, known as the industrial capital of this region, protesters who earlier had occupied the original government building now announced the creation of Donetsk Sovereign Republic. These people have been asking for their right for self-determination for several weeks already taken to the streets and occupying governmental buildings. They've been calling on Crimea-style referendum to decide their region's future and they have been asking for more independence from Kiev and they have set a deadline for regional deputies to uh, push them together for an emergency session to decide this uh, uh, to make a decision to vote on this issue and when their demands were not met uh, this is what they announced this is their reaction so far we haven't heard about any reaction from Kiev's side but we have to say that in two other cities it is in eastern Ukraine again, in Kharkov and in Lugansk. Uh, uh, the buildings of uh, local security still remain taken by similar protesters who say they do not recognize the country's new authorities. They do not consider them as legitimate power. And in the city of Lugansk again, uh, also the building of National Bank is taken by these uh, groups of uh, protesters. Well, while making their way into these government uh, governmental buildings, Protesters have been clashing with police loyal to Kiev, of course, but fortunately so far we haven't heard about casualties. Well, the situation uh, remains very tense and indeed it is even escalating. And meanwhile, we hear that our colleagues from Rapli Video uh, Agency were not allowed to enter the city of uh, Donetsk uh, and they were stopped because their passports were stamped here in Simferopol, that is now following the referendum of March 16 the part of Russian Federation and the uh, Kiev's uh, authorities announced that uh, they will not allow anybody on the Ukrainian territory with a uh, Simferopol stamp in their passport. And this is a very alarming news. It's not for the first time that media is not allowed on the Ukrainian territory to work, to cover the events there. And this is even something that some uh, members of the OSC delegation that is now in uh, the city of Kharkov for the Eastern Ukraine's capital uh, for a six-month-long mission to monitor the situation there said they are very worried about. Well, Kiev is uh, also anxious about what's going on and how things are developing in eastern Ukraine. And we know that the country's acting president cancelled all his trips uh, yesterday to be able to monitor closely the situation. We hear that uh, Yulia Tymoshenko is now on her way to the city of Donetsk. And we also hear from interior minister that uh, they will do their best to prevent any violence, to avoid what happened in Kiev, but at the same time that all those responsible for these protests will be severely punished. Back to you.